Hello everyone, today's lesson is grammar. The focus of today's lesson will be on nouns. Kindly open your uh, writing coach, page one. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to identify, use and understand nouns, including concrete and abstract nouns, common and proper nouns. Before we start the lesson, I would like you to complete this table and how to complete it is as follow. Uh, first, I would like you to complete the K column. K stands for what you already know about the lesson of today, that is nouns. Write everything you know about nouns here in this column. The second one, uh, W stands for what you want to learn about this lesson. Uh, obviously, some students may already know something about this lesson, but they still have got some questions, things they are not sure uh, of. I would like you to write those things here, those, your questions, whatever you would like to learn about this lesson. Finally, the last column L stands for what you've learned uh, in this lesson. This one, I ask you not to write anything in it for now until the end of the lesson. Then I, uh, I ask you to complete it uh, uh, with the information that you learned in this you learned in this lesson. So, what is a noun? A noun is the part of speech that names a person, place, a thing, or an idea. There are different types of nouns. The examples. What are those different types? First, we have common and proper. I'm gonna I'm gonna go uh, couple by couple. Okay. Uh, so common and proper. Common is a, a class of person, place, or thing. Proper is something more specific, a specific person, specific place, specific uh, thing. Common is more of general thing, uh, and proper is more of particular thing or particular person, specific. Examples, here we have common girl, it can be any girl, any city, any month. But when we are talking about proper, no, we are talking about something in particular, Maria. Uh, Dallas, December, and as you notice, uh, there's another thing you can uh, use it to distinguish between common and proper. Common, uh, common nouns, they start with lower cases, okay? Unlike proper nouns, that it is a must, uh, they have a capital case, capital letter, okay? Uh, then we have concrete and abstract nouns, something you can see, touch, taste, hear, or smell. Abstract something you can't perceive, you cannot see, you cannot uh, taste, you cannot hear, you cannot smell, you cannot touch, okay? This is abstract, it's kind of the opposite of the con concrete. For example, table, hat, pen, we can see them, we can touch them, we can taste them, uh, hear uh, he, uh, he them if we knock, for example, smell them. Uh, uh, for example, uh, abstract, on the opposite, uh, we cannot, for example, when we say loyalty, we cannot touch it, or hear it, or hope, or freedom, or happiness. Those nouns are only in our abstract. We cannot touch them or perceive them through our senses. First exercise, identify nouns. Uh, basically, what we have to do in this exercise to find the nouns and underline them. Uh, we have example here. Our decision was to eat dinner before the movie. And so our decision was to eat dinner before the movie. So uh, decision, dinner, movie are the nouns. So we're going to underline them. Let's do it uh, together. So uh, number one, the present is on the table. Here we have uh, two nouns, of course, present and table. Number two, please take Sally to the dentist. All right, so we have Sally and we have dentist. Always you have to ask yourself this question, uh, what is a noun? How can I know that this is a noun? A noun names a place, a thing, an idea, a person. So, uh, uh, Sally, what is it? It is a name of a person, so it is a noun, so I underline it, okay? Number three, my brother, so we have brother, slept through the movie, okay? Number four, call the office after the package arrives. Number five, the weather in Chicago is cold in January. So, 
those are the nouns in those sentences uh, and uh, to make it easier for you always ask this question uh, when you find the word the word always ask for example the is it a noun so I think about it does it name a person no a place no an idea no uh, a thing no so no it is not a it is not a noun okay you think of it like this okay so from number six to ten uh, you should do it yourself the second exercise is asking us to read each sentence then on the line provided here uh, we have to identify whether each underlined noun is number one common or proper and number two concrete or abstract so for example did you give your pencil to paul so this noun pencil number one we have to decide is it common or proper i wrote pencil then common okay comma uh, then i have to decide number two is it concrete or abstract it is concrete because i can touch it see it uh, etc then we have paul is it again the same question proper or common it is proper then uh, abstract or concrete it is concrete all right uh, let's do the first sentence together your friendship is important to me so uh, the word is friendship we write write it down then we ask ourselves is it common or proper and i already told you a trick that you can use to distinguish between the two uh, is that when it is uh, proper it should start with capital letter so it doesn't start here so it is common another thing uh friendship is something common it's not we're not talking about something in particular something specific it's very general so it is uh, common and whether it is concrete or abstract it is abstract why because we cannot touch friendship we cannot see it we just talk about it it is just an idea okay number two aunt mary visited my family yesterday so aunt mary uh is it common or proper then is it concrete or abstract okay aunt mary of course it is proper uh and concrete uh family is common and concrete okay number three please pass the potatoes potatoes let's see it is common not proper and concrete obviously number four my uncle lives in florida what do you think ankle proper or common look at the first letter yes for those who guessed that it is common and and uh, concrete or abstract remember concrete means can we see uh, see it or see this person touch it or something like this abstract we cannot so uncle since uncle is a person of course it is concrete uh, Florida Florida is it common or proper look here at the first letter it's uh, the name of a state and it, there is only one Florida and it is something very specific so it is uh, definitely proper and concrete or abstract of course it is um, uh, concrete because we can see it, we can go there all right number five uh, a puppy needs a lot of attention so a puppy is a dog a small dog needs a lot of attention so what do you think common proper concrete abstract then attention the same thing so of course puppy is a is common a common noun and concrete because we can touch it and see it attention also is common and since we cannot see attention or touch it or anything so it is abstract uh, now it is your turn uh, from number six to number ten i would like you to do it by yourself always ask those questions Get, make this your habit to ask to question everything uh, is it common and what does it mean common you can always refer back to the first slide or just uh, on your books what is proper uh, is it concrete why is it abstract why always ask the why so the last task is writing and speaking application 
What I want you to do is to write a two sentence description of your house. I know uh, on writing code it's written classroom, but since we are not uh, in the classroom, I would like you to uh, describe your house using at least six nouns. Make sure there are at least six nouns. Circle uh, those nouns that you used, then record your reading your description. Uh, post your video on Teams platform. Your classmates should listen for and name the nouns in your sentences. As they are watching your video, you have to uh, listen for and name those nouns. And then they have to write their answers in the comment box. All right. I uh, hope you understand the, the lesson. Uh, should you have any questions, uh, please do not hesitate uh, to contact me and have a lovely day. Goodbye.